Hello, my little mathletes, and welcome to Operations Operation on Matrices. Today, let's go ahead and add that S in there. Today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding and subtracting matrices and we're also going to be doing a little scalar multiplication. I'll get to that in a second. So, adding and subtracting. The first thing we have to look for when we're adding and subtracting matrices is whether they have the same dimensions. That is the only way you can add or subtract a matrix. So, if you're given a matrix that looks like this, and then another one that looks like this, well this is a one by three. Remember row, column, one row, three columns. And this is a three by one. Three rows, one column. Well those, it is not possible to add those two matrices. So if you were given a problem like this, you can say not possible, or this matrix does not exist, blah, blah, blah. Now, let's say, just hypothetically, I would give you one that is possible. Let's say we have, oh, matrix A, and it is a two by two, and it's got three, one, negative seven, and four. And matrix B, is um, 4, 9, let's pick some good numbers, negative 13, and 2. Okay? And I ask you to find A minus B. Okay? I want you to take the matrix A and subtract matrix B from it. Well, how do you do that? How this works is your answer is going to be a 2 by 2 matrix. So you might as well start there. Now, what goes in these spots is A11 minus B11. So 3 minus 4 gives me negative 1. So at this spot, it would be negative 1. You go to the 2, 2 position, or excuse me, yeah, the 1, 2 position. First row, second column. Negative 7 minus negative 13. Well, negative 7, that would be like negative 7 plus 13. Two negatives make a positive. And 7 minus, th or 13 minus 7 gives you 6. You move to this spot. 1 minus 9. That gives you negative 8. Over here, 4 minus 2 gives you 2. That is your answer. Now, let's look at another set of matrices. Let's look at matrix C. And it is going to be a 2 by 1 matrix. And it is 3, negative 4, and matrix D is also going to be a 2 by 1 matrix, and it is uh, 7 and 5. And let's say I want you to add C and D. Well, again, you look. They both have the same dimensions. They're both a 2 by 1 matrix. So our answer is going to be a 2 by 1 matrix. Our first spot. Add the first spots together. This is position 1-1, one, one, so add C11 one, one and D11. One, one. 3 plus 7 gives me 10. Position 2-1, C21 and D21. Well, negative 4 plus 5 gives me positive 1. So that is my answer. Now, 
That is adding and subtracting matrices. Now let's look at scalar multiplication. What this is, is you can take a number, let's say we have a matrix A. Let's make it a 2 by 2 again. Let's go 2, 1, negative 3, 5. Now let's say I ask you for 4A. Well, that means I want to take 4 and multiply it by this matrix. Well, that means to take 4 and multiply it by each position in here. So your answer is also going to be a 2 by 2 matrix. In the 1, 1 position, I will have 4 times 2, which is 8. In the 1, 2 position, 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. The 2, 1 position, 4 times 1 is 4. And the 2, 2 position, 4 times 5 gives me 20. That is scalar multiplication. This can be used, in essence, if you wanted 4A plus 5B if we had a matrix B. You can use scalar multiplication along with addition of matrices. This will be the brunt of your homework and a majority of your next test. And that is operations on matrices.